it's Lisa Lampanelli, comedy's lovable queen of mean, and authoress of the fabulous, soon to be best selling, Chocolate Please, the audiobook. <laughs> You know, I realized I wanted to be a comedian professionally when I made my family laugh for the first time when I was six to eight years old. I can't remember because all the beatings from my mother have sort of like fogged those memories a bit. Although it took me 28 years then to figure out how to do it. So I didn't make any money when I was six at it, but now I'm a fucking bitch. I really am. The experience of recording this audiobook was very strange because you're in this little box, okay, and there's some broad outside saying, do that over. When in comedy, I'm doing stand-up, nobody's yelling, do that over, bitch. We got the sound of your bracelet rattling, okay? We heard your water bottle. So basically, recording an audiobook, so basically, recording an audio, I'm sorry, see, this is what I fucking did the whole time with the audiobook. I'd fuck it up, and you could leave this in, because this is a struggle that Lisa Lampanelli had to go to, and I'm too famous for this shit, and I shouldn't even have to do it. Anyway, scene. The difference between recording an audiobook is that I forgot what I was just going to say, because I fucked it up. So an audiobook, you have a script and you could read it, and in stand-up you don't, and you might lose your place, as I did now. But this is the magic. This is the magic, and it's on seven CDs for you. Yeah, you. $39.99. Is it $39.99? Okay, for you. <laughs> Bitch, I was about to say my fucking... <laughs> you cock-blocking fucking cunt. Leave that in, too. See? Recording an audio book, you have to sit here and do your dumb promos. You think when I fucking do Radio City Music Hall, Carnegie Hall, not to name drop, they go, anything, tickets to 87 50. You got it wrong, you big cunt. Well, guess what? You're all cunts. It's $29.99, and you're all going to buy it and or download it, or I stick a fork in your neck. Okay? Yeah. As a comedian, I decided to be open because those are the people you respond to. Everybody has struggles. Everyone has, you know, banged inappropriate people. Everyone's eaten until they bled. So I figured, you know what? Let me just uh, relate to other people by telling the truth about myself. And also, P.S., your audience senses if you're holding back. That's the thing. A lot of these comics hold back. They just tell jokes. They're servicey. Screw it. I tell it all. This way also, my publicist has an easy job, so she never finds out shit that I haven't already said. So you know what? Basically, if there were naked pictures of me, I'd be thrilled to death, because I would have told her already and said, put them out there. I was hot in my 20s. Tits were good. <laughs>